Good evening, Rahul. Good evening, Wisdom Tree. You look very excited. Yes, I am very excited. Tomorrow, all the students from class fourth to class tenth will be divided into four groups called houses. The houses are poppies, bluebells, shamrocks, and violets. After being assigned to the group, I will be wearing the respective colored trousers and shirt. I am excited about which house I will be chosen into. That is a good reason to be excited. How many students will each group have? I don't know. How can we find that? It is simple. Find the total number of students from class four to class ten, and then divide it by four. Oh, division! But it is a large number. It seems like I will need your help again. Okay, Rahul. Do you want to know? How the princess learned to divide with a single digit number? Yes, I want to know. Today we shall learn about division of a number by a one digit number. Though each prince was well versed in a particular skill, Guru taught the princess how to use all weapons. One day Guru showed them many arrows. Arranged in a place, he told the princess that he would give all the princes an equal amount of arrows. He said that there were nine thousand eight hundred and ninety-eight arrows, and he would give eight arrows to each of them. He asked the princess to find out how many disciples would get eight arrows, and how many arrows. Would be left over. The princes found it difficult to divide, so Guru taught them the division process. Children, today we will learn how to divide a number by a one-digit number. For example, divide two thousand two hundred and eighty-nine by three. Let me show you the procedure step by step. The number which has to be divided. Is known as the dividend. Here, the dividend is two thousand two hundred and eighty-nine. The number which divides the dividend is known as a divisor. In the given problem, three is the divisor. Step one: Consider the first digit from the left of the dividend. Here, it is two. Compare two with the divisor three. It is less than three. So we cannot divide two by three. So consider the numbers in both thousands and hundreds placed together. That is twenty-two. Check the products of three multiplication tables. How many times of three will give the product twenty-two or less than twenty-two? Twenty-two is not the product in three multiplication table. We observe that seven times three is twenty-one, which is less than twenty-two, and eight times three is twenty-four, which is greater than twenty-two. So consider seven multiplied by three is equal to twenty-one. Now write seven in the quotient place and twenty-one below twenty-two. Now subtract twenty-one from twenty-two. The difference is one. Now bring down eight from tens place to make eighteen tens as the next dividend. Now check for the product number eighteen in three multiplication table. We find six multiplied by three is eighteen, so the quotient is six. So write eighteen below eighteen in the dividend. Subtracting eighteen from eighteen, we get zero. So bring down nine from one's place as the next dividend. Again, check the product number nine in three multiplication table. Now three multiplied by three is nine. So we write down nine below nine and three in the quotient. So now subtracting nine from nine, we get the remainder as zero. 
Hence the quotient while dividing 2289 by 3 is 763 and the remainder is 0. Do you find it difficult? Let me solve one more example. Divide 43,587 by 7. Step 1. Consider the first digit in the left of the dividend. Here it is 4. Compare 4 with divisor 7. 4 is less than 7. So we cannot divide 4 by 7. Consider both the numbers in 10 thousands and thousands place together. It is 43. Check the products of 7 multiplication table. How many times of 7 will give the product 43 or less than 43? In the 7 multiplication table we find that 7 multiplied by 7 is 49 is greater than 43 and 6 multiplied by 7 is 42 is less than 42. So we have to take 6 multiplied by 7 is equal to 42. Then write 6 in the quotient place and write 42 below 43. Now we subtract 42 from 43 and the difference is 1. Bring down 5 from 100's place. The new dividend is 15. Now check for the product number 15 in 7 multiplication table. From the table we see that 3 multiplied by 7 is 21 greater than 15 and 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to 14 is less than 15. So we write 2 in the quotient place and 14 below 15. Now subtract 14 from 15 and write 1. Bring down 8 from 10's place. The new dividend is 18. Now check for the product number 18 in 7 multiplication table. We see that 3 multiplied by 7 is 21 greater than 18 and 2 multiplied by 7 is 14 is less than 18. So the required product is 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to 14 which is less than 18. Write 2 in the quotient place and write 14 below 18. Now subtract 14 from 18. The difference is 4. So write down 4 and bring 7 from 1's. Now the new dividend is 47. Now check for 47 in 7 multiplication table. We see that 7 multiplied by 7 is 49, which is greater than 47. And 6 multiplied by 7 is 42, which is less than 47. So write 6 in the quotient and 42 below 47. Now subtracting 42 from 47 we get 5. Now the remainder is 5 and which is less than the quotient 7 and there is no number in the dividend to continue the process. So our division is completed. Hence the quotient while dividing 43,587 by 7 is 6,226 and the remainder is 5. Let us recall the situation we saw before this concept. If the total number of arrows was 9898 arrows, then how many disciples will get 8 arrows each? And how many arrows will be left over? Solution Total number of arrows is given as 9898. Number of arrows each disciple gets is 8. To find the number of disciples who get 8 arrows from the total of 9898 arrows, we have to divide 9898 arrows by 8. Let us try the division as explained now. Here the divisor is 8 and dividend is 9898. Now consider the first digit of the dividend. It is 9 greater than 8. We need to check for 9 in the product number 
in multiplication table of 8. None of the product in 8 multiplication table gives 9. We find that 2 multiplied by 8 is equal to 16 is greater than 9 and 1 multiplied by 8 is equal to 8 is less than 9. So write 1 in the quotient place and write 8 below 9. Now subtracting 8 from 9 we get 1. Bring down 8 from hundreds place and so the new dividend is 18. Now check for 18 in 8 table. In the 8 multiplication table, 3 multiplied by 8 is 24 is greater than 18 and 2 multiplied by 8 is 16 is less than 18. So write 2 in the quotient and 16 below 18. Now 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. Bring down 9 from 10's place. So new dividend is 29. Check for 29 in the product number of 8 multiplication table. 4 multiplied by 8 is equal to 32 is greater than 29. And 3 multiplied by 8 is 24 less than 29. So write 3 in the quotient and 24 below 29. Now subtracting 24 from 29 we get 5. Now bring down 8 from 1's place. So the new dividend is 58. Check for 58 in the product numbers of 8 multiplication table. 8 multiplied by 8 is 64 greater than 58. 7 multiplied by 8 is 56 less than 58. So write 7 in the quotient and 56 below 58. Now, subtracting 56 from 58, we get 2. So here, 2 is the remainder and 1237 is the quotient. Therefore, if 9898 arrows are distributed equally, that is 8 arrows to each, then 1237 disciples will get the arrows and 2 arrows are left. Children, one of you come and try this division. Divide 5601 by 6. I will solve the division, Guruji. Good. Come on. Which digit of the dividend you will consider? Consider the first digit from the left of the dividend. Here it is 5. Comparing 5 with the divisor 6, it is less than 6. So, we cannot divide 5 by 6. So consider the numbers in both thousands and hundreds place together. That is 56. Is 56 in the product number of 6 multiplication table? No. How many times of 6 will give the product less than 56? Now we look for 56 in the product numbers of 6 multiplication table. 10 multiplied by 6 is equal to 60, is greater than 56. 9 multiplied by 6 is equal to 54, is less than 56. So write 9 in the quotient and 54 below 56. Now subtracting 54 from 56, we get 2. Now bring down 0 tens, so the new dividend is 20. Is 20 in the product numbers of the 6 multiplication table? No, Guruji. 4 multiplied by 6 is equal to 24, is greater than 20. 3 multiplied by 6 is equal to 18, is less than 20. So write 3 in the quotient and 18 below 20. Subtracting 18 from 20, we get 2. Bringing down 1 once, 21 becomes the new dividend. How many times of 6 will give the product less than 21? Now we look for 21 in the product numbers of 6 multiplication table. 4 multiplied by 6 is equal to 24 is greater than 21. 
3 multiplied by 6 is equal to 18 is less than 21. So write 3 in the quotient and 18 below 21. Now subtracting 18 from 21 we get 3. Hence dividing 5601 by 6 we get the quotient as 933 and 3 as the remainder. If 7 of you are assigned to sharpen 28,546 swords, how many swords will each of you sharpen? Total number of swords is equal to 28,546. Number of children is equal to 7. Number of swords sharpened by each child is equal to 28,546 divided by 7. So which digit of the dividend you take? The first digit in the left of dividend is 2. Comparing 2 with the divisor 7, it is less than 7. So we cannot divide 2 by 7. So consider the numbers in both ten thousands and thousands place together, that is twenty-eight. Is twenty-eight in the product numbers of seven multiplication table? Yes, Guruji. Four multiplied by seven is twenty-eight. So we write four in the quotient and write twenty-eight below twenty-eight. Now subtracting twenty-eight from 28 we get 0 so bring down 5 hundreds now 5 is less than 7 it is not divisible by 7 children here you notice that as 5 in hundreds place is not divisible by 7 so we have to put a 0 in the quotient then bring 4 tens down and hence the new dividend is 54 now you can continue the session. We look for 54 in the product numbers of 7 multiplication table. 8 multiplied by 7 is equal to 56 is greater than 54. 7 multiplied by 7 is equal to 49 is less than 54. So we write 7 in the quotient and 49 below 54. Subtracting 49 from 54, we get 5. Now bringing down 6 ones, the new dividend is 56. Very good. Is 56 in the product numbers of 7 multiplication table? 8 multiplied by 7 is 56. So we write 8 in the quotient and 56 below 56. Subtracting 56 from 56, we get 0. So dividing 28,546 by 7, we got 4,078 as quotient and remainder 0. Hence, each of us has sharpened 4,078 swaps. Is everybody clear with the concept? Yes, Guruji. In this lesson, the princess learned division by a one-digit number. Rahul, hope you understood how to divide by a one-digit number. Yes, I did. Now I can find the number of students in each group. But I do not know the total number of students from class 4 to class 10th. I shall find out that at school tomorrow and let you know. Now I shall leave. Good night. Good night, Rahul.